Welcome back to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face, and here we are, a comfortable Blobalonia, where everything is fine. Except for the ground rotting around that big ominous castle, of course. That's a concern. That remains a concern. <laughs> Uh, shout out to everybody who left me birthday wishes yesterday. That really made me smile. <laughs> Even to Rune Christiansen, whose comment said, Happy birthday, old man. <laughs> uh. Good thing you started off. Shout out to Rachel Starwind, who left a comment saying, Hey BDF, thanks for all the great videos over the years. They really are helping me push all of the 3 a.m. bottle feeding sessions with Binks. Yes, kitten updates. Plus, now that his ears have perked up, your voice is the first adult man he's heard. <laughs> this delights me, and I'm not entirely sure why. Feels like an honor. Ah, yes, deeper into the horrible swamp. Oh! So if I just stand here, just for the record... No, no, that one's not an AOE. Interesting. Um... Okay. I'm just gonna pause that, because the noise is distracting. But yes, Rachel also left a different comment. Suggesting interesting things about Babylonia. Uh... What if this planet isn't a typical planet? I.e., it doesn't orbit around a star, or is part of an established solar system. I suspect that this is some kind of rogue dwarf planetoid that just rockets through space. Its constantly changing position in space could force any creatures living there to develop unheard of adap adaptabilities to tolerate extreme conditions of deep space. Hence, blobs. I really like that thought. I have to say. Oh! Oh, I was lifted up just slightly. Yes, we've got balloon, we've got cannon, parachute, and anvil. Solve this problem immediately. Eh. Oh no, another one. He's got to time it better. Hooray! Oh, okay. I might have defied the laws of physics, but I'll allow it. Because what else am I going to do? I suppose that would explain why we can see Earth from the surface of Blobalonia. No, no, Anvil, that's what I was looking for. Oh. Fire! <laughs> God damn. Aw, oh, no! Oh, well, I guess that guy's alive again. Okay! Right in the face. No! I can't reach up there! There, more accurately. Lobert! Hey! This way! 
this is a problem. I just wanted him to block the shot. Hurry! He's not sparkling, so I don't actually need him dead. Save us both a moment and this way. Oh. Well, that one seems way better behaved. I have a feeling if I go down here and do this, it will that will change. Okay, I don't need these guys horking all over me. You seeing this shit? Okay, uh, cannon. This will not make me invincible to the, their uh, explosions, so... It is, however, literally the only jelly bean that could get me here. Sup? I'm up here now. I skipped a whole thing down there. But I can't. I would just kill. I would just run into that guy and die. This way. No. Right. Oh! Well, never mind then. Curses! That's what I was exactly supposed to do right here. Mom. You can do it, Blob. me. I went looking into the foot face that I found last time. And, uh... I couldn't find squat about it. Like, I couldn't find a single other I iteration of that image. It's like, am I the only person who's ever found that? Like, the closest I came was, uh, finding someone who had a thread saying, hey, I was going through the audio files in this game, and I found one of the boys saying, a foot face? What's that about? But there were no replies in the thread. When I went searching for, uh, you know, I did a Google search for uh, a boy and his blob Easter egg. Ready? Instead of finding an Easter egg in a boy and his blob, I found an Easter egg in a different game about a boy and his blob. 
Yeah, apparently somewhere in the game Blood Rain Betrayal, which I gather is also by Majesco and Way Forward, uh, you can see the boy and his blob locked up in the uh, cell in the background. Uh, normally everything on the screen is bright red. Here, the player is using some manner of laser to helpfully light up the background. <laughs> Bizarre. Still, really weird that I can't find anything about that uh, Easter egg face. Maybe it's because it doesn't have an achievement attached to it, so nobody noticed? Yeah, that's not going to help anything. Stupid question, but... Yeah, that will just kill me. Ugh. Oh, I'm not here. Weird. I guess I must have skipped this checkpoint the first time. Oh, right. got to be with the angle I used to shoot myself up there. Hey! Hey, Blobbert. Ooh. I didn't use the names because, well, I just gave them those names. In this game, they are canonically only known as a boy and his blob. Trying to do intentionally unintuitive things, like maybe if I aim it directly at the other guy, I won't actually hit him. Blob. Ready? Blob. <laughs> this way. I guess the reason they have both the balloon jelly beans and the ability to. Uh, you know, just call him three times or whatever, is because they added the one to prevent him from getting lost, but there are still lots of situations where you can completely cut yourself off from him. Well, that wouldn't have ended out well, even if there wasn't a guy there. Can't really spin in a circle. I love that sound effect, by the way. Oh, God! That's just shameful. No, no, that's just that angle. God damn it, there's not much I can do there. I'm clearly missing something. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. It's also one of the things I'm really good at overthinking. Mom. Mind you, I'm autistic and I do think a whole bunch faster than. Well, I don't want to use the word normal, but. I do not think smarter than most, just making connections and such. Ah. For example, that sound effect really reminds me of Ren and Stimpy for some reason. I've been running through the show in my head to, uh... Not that I memorize the episodes or anything, but... Fuck! Hold into a vacuum cleaner. Is that guy moving up and no? Uh, what if I landed right on top of you? Amazing, that doesn't work. Ah!
Be an anvil. Blubbert. Blubbert. Why did this? That won't help me because I can't get down to the bottom. God damn it, I don't have anything that can stop him. Getting that feeling again, doing the same thing over and over again, but... Just do not pass go! I don't understand about like the parachute. Can I use it as a fucking bridge or something? Actually. Frustrating. Come here. I dislike this. I can't even get out. That was the worst part. There's no door down there. This isn't even one of those things like, well, here's the door, but here's the tempting treasure. No, I just literally can't get over there. Fuck, I don't know, I gotta try something else. Um. This is not going to work. Try something. Will the balloon set them off? Is that what the trick is? That's not correct. Um. Oh, shame there isn't a frickin' jelly bean that turns him into Mjolnir armor. No, wait. This way! I think that'll work, it's just... What else am I going to do? Hey! Well, I guess it could be about the positioning of the cannon. Sucks. I don't even know if that counts. No, it doesn't. Well, at least the treasure is in literally the first enemy that you have to kill. Honestly, I feel like it would be more difficult to get in there without uh, to get past this without killing that guy. the pretzel door, our hero lies in wait.
be over here. Gotta go! I'm just chilling. I didn't forget. Still annoyed, but I didn't forget. Fire! Oh, I actually didn't die this time. I'm kind of surprised. Well, I'm gonna go over there. We've seen this bit before, so I don't need to wait for the next episode for this. So, uh, I'm Burning Dog Face. And Billy Blobbert and I will see you on the next episode of Oh, for over here. Sake. Uh, the wisdom. I was gonna say pets, but then I remember these people here. here. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah. Uh, here's hoping door on the left is easier than the door on the right. Later.